Shock is not even remotely the word. It has just been announced, my hand is shaking, that Queen Elizabeth II has died. This morning, Buckingham Palace put out a statement that the Queen was under medical supervision and that she was being kept comfortable at Balmoral. Watch my last video for the full rundown of how we got to that point. No sooner did I hit send on that video than we got updates that in addition to Charles, Camilla, and William, all of the Queen's children, including Edward and Anne, and Harry and Meghan were traveling up to Scotland to be by her side. This was the moment when I knew. Elizabeth was the UK's longest ever reigning monarch. She exceeded the throne in 1952 after the death of her father, and that made her the first ever British monarch to celebrate a platinum jubilee this year when she marked 70 years on the throne. The day of her father's passing, February 6th, was known as Accession Day under Elizabeth's reign. This was a day that she would often spend at home in quiet contemplation. And now, today, is going to be known as a new Accession Day. This will be the day that Charles becomes king. Upon the death of his mother, power transferred immediately to him. I'm sorry if this is disjointed, this is just everything that's kind of coming to the surface immediately. This is a woman who, she was 96, her life spanned 10 decades. The way that she touched the lives of so many other people and the mark she's had on history, the witness to history that she has been, absolutely unprecedented. This is, we're never going to get somebody like this again. Obviously, I will keep you updated on the arrangements for the future, any news that we get. My thoughts and prayers are with the people of the Commonwealth at this time and with her very large and loving family.